In this video, we would like to introduce you to the design of tabletops and non-prepared veneers in Dental Designer. This is a completely new workflow which makes it fast and easy to create designs when one needs to rebuild occlusion. To create an order for tabletops or non-prepared veneers, select the teeth you would like to work on in order form. Then click the anatomy icon. Under temporary restorations, you will find a drop-down list which holds the tabletop's restoration type. When you start the tabletop design, first place the annotations on the required teeth, then click Next to set the insertion direction. The software will suggest a direction, but you can choose to set it manually. If you have more than one tabletop or non-prepared veneer to design, the software will ask you to repeat these steps for all restorations. In this case, the patient is in need of more than two restorations. However, for demonstration, we will only work with two in this video. Clicking Next, after setting directions for the last restoration, takes you to Anatomy Pre-Design step. At this step, the Smile Composer automatically places teeth that you need to adjust to the surface you plan to restore to. Placing the anatomy first helps you to fit your design to the unprepared teeth to obtain a highly aesthetic design. All of the Smile Composer Toolkit is available to help you to obtain the desired anatomy. When teeth are positioned and cover the surface, which you wish to restore, press Next. Now, in the Margin Line sub-step, the margin line is automatically placed at the intersection between anatomy design and the non-prepared tooth. You can adjust the outline of the design to improve its shape and fitting. When the margin line is red, it means that a part of it is in the undercut area and the red dots indicate where. When the margin line is green, there are no undercuts. After adjusting the margin line, click Next to go to the Die Interface sub-step and adjust, set or change parameters if needed. And if you design more than one restoration, Repeat the same steps for the rest of them. When finished, click Next and make final adjustments to the design in the Anatomy Design step. The design is now connected to the margin line and depicts the final anatomy. When you finish improvements, click Next to get to the save stage. Once your design is complete, click Close to save it. And that's it. Thank you for watching.